All the stars we can see with the naked eye make up only a small part of a huge disk-shaped collection of a hundred billion stars we call the Milky Way galaxy. Our galaxy is only one of an estimated 100 billion galaxies in the universe. NASA's great observatories in space, including the Hubble Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory, have teamed up to probe the farthest recesses of the universe. The region of the sky they looked at was about half the apparent area of the full moon, but it contains many thousands of galaxies that are far away from our galaxy. Telescopes can trace the history of the universe by studying light from distant galaxies. Light from distant galaxies can take billions of years to reach us. That light, once it reaches Earth, tells us about galaxies as they existed in the past. The telescope's observations are called GOODS, or the Great Observatory's Origins Deep Survey, which concentrated on this section of the sky to study tens of thousands of galaxies that stretch back in space. The survey will provide clues on galaxy formation and evolution over a wide range of distances through time. The sky view is so wide that 15 images were assembled together into a mosaic of the goods field. The mosaic revealed a myriad of galaxies from elliptical, spiral, and irregular. But what if we could fly through this deep field and see how the galaxies are distributed through space and see what they looked like back in time. My research interests are in galaxy formation and evolution. The cool thing about it is that as you look out into space, you're also looking back into time. And if you can look far enough out into space, you can see galaxies as they were billions of years ago, which means these are galaxies as they were forming. So the goods field represents this 20,000, 30,000 galaxies stretch all the way across the universe, not only in space, but also in time. Being able to fly through the goods field allows you to get a visual history of galaxy formation and evolution, and that's compelling. Images received by telescopes are a two-dimensional picture, which deceives us into thinking that galaxies are all at the same distance. Astronomers study the color of light from each galaxy to determine its distance from Earth. The Goods image revealed galaxies distributed over a wide distance to about 12 billion light years. Once this data is known, the galaxies can then be laid out in a three-dimensional space. A team of astronomers gathered to sift through the galaxies, identifying, locating, and cataloging them according to their distance. Then, they were able to start processing the galaxies in preparation for building a three-dimensional model to fly through. Each galaxy image needed to be image enhanced by examining each of the selected cataloged galaxies. The astronomers then physically changed the images through a computer program, which softens the edges and removes any segments of images from neighboring galaxies. In the goods field, there was about 10,000 galaxies that were individual components that needed to be uh, looked at and inspected. And what we decided to do was go with two different methods for doing this. One method was to inspect just the brightest galaxies. So we took the top 1,000 brightest, largest surface area galaxies and inspected each of those for defects or um, background galaxies shining through. And those were hand cleaned. Um, out of that 1,000, approximately 200 needed to be treated. The other method of cleaning was to um, look at a specific area. Within the GOODS 3D model, there was a zoom-in sequence where we really narrowed in onto a specific area. And so of those galaxies, another thousand as you zoom in further, uh, we treated about 200 of those for cosmetic defects. The galaxy images were then plotted in a three-dimensional field for showing the transition from the closest galaxies to the farthest galaxies. In this video of the three-dimensional model, we visually travel into one of the deepest views of the universe to see the largest sample of actual galaxies that has ever been put together. You see wave after wave of galaxies, first moving towards and then past you. Beautifully formed elliptical, spiral, and irregular galaxies sail by, creating a visual feast. Galaxies start becoming smaller as you travel into the field where the more distant galaxies reside. 
images of galaxies start coming into your view. Some are smaller and not completely formed. Others are thin wisps of galaxies, which are in their beginning stages. Astronomers can now see and test how galaxies looked in their infancy and how they evolved into the galaxies that we see closer to us. This is a galactic history story unfolding before your eyes.